Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. Today I will guide you through a mini game inside Unity. We are literally going for the first time there. So I don't know what to expect from the template that Unity provides us. Uh, first thing first, you need to get the stable Unity version. If you have already Unity Hub and go to Installs. You can see that I already had already installed the version 2019.4. It's a LTS long term support version. If you don't know how to install Unity Hub or any of these versions, go to my first video about Unity. It's really the first video of the channel. Or check the playlist named Course 1 Introduction to Unity. Also in the channel. But I can help you out here. If you want to install that, you just need to go add. And then you, this will be available for you. For example, imagine that I want this beta version. I just go next, and then this will appear. These are these are called modules, and for example, you might want to install Visual Studio with this. You might want to get Android build support, and more than that, maybe you want to add WebGL and Windows build support. Probably that will do for you. Okay, just kick click the next button and you will get this all installed and ready to go. Now what we are doing, we are going to the learn tab and here we have the Lego micro game. You really just need to download this project here and then accept some checkboxes and you are ready to go. So let's do it. Lego micro game, open project. Please enter your date of birth to continue. Okay. Okay, need to accept this. This could take some time. You just need to wait a little bit. Okay, this took a while, but now we are back. And now you can load tutorials or load playground scene. I think I'm going with load tutorials for now. Okay, let's do this guys. So tutorials, get started, one of nine. Get started. In this tutorial, you will begin to explore the basics of navigating in the Unity editor as you playtest the start of the Lego micro game, review the Unity editor interface, make the minifig character faster. Ready to go? Select start to begin. Okay, let's go. Start. Enter play mode. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, this button here lets you enter the play mode. We already told this in the editor interface video, but here we go. When we hit play, we'll go to the game. Okay. Pretty sick. I see. Let me just see the tab there on the right. Explore the game. Uh, AWSD to move. And this is cool. It's real like the Lego video game. I played some in the PlayStation, and this looks like it. Uh, we have this to look. Jump. Double jump. And pause. Shadows, frame rate counter, receivity show control, take screenshot. Okay. Pretty neat. Let's see what we have here. So, probably at this moment, we don't have much things to do. What is this? Hello? Nah. I'm just asking myself if there is a key to run because I don't see any key to run. Okay. To quit, you can just press the button again and you will quit the game or exit the play mode. 
now they are telling me to select the player minifig game object so you can see that here in the hierarchy we have our objects in the game they say everything in game world including the minifig is called the game object the hierarchy is where you can organize game objects each one in your game is listed here you can select the game object to find out more about it and configure its behavior so we can select the player minifig and now we have the inspector here with with all the components that are part of this object they are telling me to change the speed to 30 okay basically these are the components and you can see that the movement have a maximum speed maximum forward speed of 6 and if we change that to 13 it's more than the double and let's put next here they are telling us to save okay save actually this is good save is important and you can go to file save or you can hit control s I will press there and now you can enter play mode again and see the difference so you remember that the player was really not going that fast horizontally and now it should be okay yeah now we are going okay even though the frame rate is kind of messy but now the speed is good I can jump this oh yeah they say you, you still won't be able to cross the gap but don't worry you'll fix that next <laughs> that's nice uh, but because it's very obvious that I can can't make the jump to the other side so we now need to quit again okay okay and now tutorial 2 the next island let's go so they are telling me to add a platform let's start to begin okay let's press start and to add a platform we have the project window here where we can find uh, all the files assets uh, for the unity project we can add we can drag assets into the scene so here you see you have an altar, a bridge, a column and we have a platform so let's pick the platform let's put it here don't worry where, where the platform will be we will probably change that now they are telling us to change the view so if this is very common in some other softwares if you press alt and move you can see that you can rotate close to the object even though what I enjoy more is clicking right clicking with a mouse and you see that there is some points there that is WISD for example and then you can move and change your speed of the camera to move around with WISD like flying mode you can go up and down with E and key we know we know how to change the camera so let's put next if you don't know watch a tutorial of mine talking about the editor UI now they are telling me to select the move tool move tool is here on the toolbar we already talked about this or you can press W and now you can move the platform around this comes very handy let's put next probably want to rotate the object well that's true you want to rotate the object so I'll grab this little arrow here and I will rotate the object like this and move it like this and down a little bit and that's too much probably something like this will do but we will try they are telling me to enter play mode again and try this okay let's save let's hit play mode <clears throat> there you go let's do this
Very nice. Very nice. So we already passed that gap. Now we can with play mode. And they say that uh, if the platform wasn't in the right place, take a moment to adjust it, then test again. Yep, that's what <laughs> that's really what you need to do if your platform is not set up correctly. If you set up the, the platform correctly at your first try, congratulations, you did a great job. If you need to adjust it, you can go to platform and just focus on changing its values. And remember to use the transform tool and the rotate tool. Okay, we completed this tutorial again. Now they are telling us to load tutorial number 3. Because this video is quite long now, I think we'll do this in the next tutorial video. We'll continue exploring the LEGO micro game. So I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this first approach to the LEGO micro game. And if you like this kind of videos, taking up the tutorials that uh, the software provides, like Unity in this case, just let me know and maybe I will keep exploring them because there are three more I think and there is also other mini projects but anyway that's it for this video thank you guys a lot for watching and I will see you next time see you there